Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Sonic 231 VRK. This is obviously a rear kitchen model with plenty of prep space and you get some division between the living area and the front bedroom, which I like. It is a great couples coach overall. Let's actually start right back here on the kitchen itself. So as I mentioned, you get all this countertop prep space. You have the higher end seamless countertops, which I like. I also love this backsplash. I think it's a good job of kind of bringing like that almost rustic farmhouse style there with some of the chrome piping. I think it just looks good. You also see an electrical outlet over there as well as an additional one over on this side. So you have plenty of electrical outlets. They're in the wall instead of under the cabinets, which are great. And it also um, allows you to have a kind of almost a dedicated spot right over here for your coffee maker. You will see the single undermount bowl. I like the undermount, gives it a much cleaner look with the high rise faucet here as well. Your recessed Furion three burner cooktop with glass cover. So you have more prep space here. Of course, you just fold that up and back. The front one is high output. Whoop, the knobs light up just like so. And then you have the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. You will also see a couple additional pull out drawers there. This right here is a dryer for your sink. So you can uh, put that right over top, just kind of acts as a drying rack, which is great. Direct vent furnace is down there. Also underneath the sink, some good additional storage for pots and pans. Plus, take a look at this. You wanna talk about under counter storage, you have massive storage in here. A lot more than you see in many other rear kitchen models. Right up top is your microwave as well as your hood. You have more storage here with the decorative glass. I think they did a good job rather than just being wood panels, helps break up that wood look. Plus you have a skylight up top too, which also lets in some natural light. Making our way around to the slide. This is our Norcold fridge freezer combo. We'll open this guy up. Norcold of course built here in the US. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. Plenty of cold storage there. And then a little bit further over is the dinette. I really like the seating. Um, you know, that's one of the, the cool things about Sonic and Sport Truck. I've always really liked their, uh, their upholstery job that they do. And you can see here, it's a very unique seating, almost like a basket weave pattern, kind of down the center. Just very unique and I personally really enjoy it. Now this does drop down into a bed. You can see the big cushion you get right here in order to fill in that tabletop. So you can drop that down, have the additional sleeping space there. You also have an electrical outlet if you need to plug in like a tablet or laptop and additional storage right here underneath. Very easy to access because it is a raised slide. Uh, when you open the door up, it does make this access a little bit easier rather than having it be, you know, essentially right down on the floor. Thermostat over to this side here. Now this one does only control the heat. You have a roof mounted AC unit here, but the controls for the AC are on that unit itself. This is also a really cool feature that, uh, that they have in the, in the Sonic, and essentially this is a, uh, a leveling system. So what you can do is you can hook this up via Bluetooth to your smartphone, and it will actually show you when your RV is level. The great thing about that is you can use it while you're backing into your camp space. So whether it's you know, using it yourself, or if you have your navigator telling you, you know, kind of the most level spot, it just helps you actually level the trailer out without having to get out, you know, see where it is, pull forward, pull back, all that maneuvering. So I think that's a, a pretty great feature. Um, moving over a little bit, you get into the entertainment system. So if you wanna watch TV, this of course is where it is. It is on a swing arm. So if you wanna be able to pull that out, you can. So that way you can either watch it in the kitchen, hear from the dinette, or while you're sitting on the sofa. Electrical outlet here. Multimedia center right up top. Um, this unit is a DVD player too, which is great. And more storage going across the top here. Plus you have some light underneath. Now, underneath the uh, jackknife, you don't have a ton of open storage, but what they did give you instead is very easy access to the water pump. And I actually really like that um, for a number of different reasons for, you know, winterization purposes or for having to service that pump. That is a very easy place to get to. A lot of times it's like underneath the cabinet, you kind of have to work around some plumbing. Not at all the case here. You also see your lights right up top, plus your awning and slide out control. You have large pantry space underneath, which you definitely can't go wrong there. And lastly, right around here on the other side, you do see a couple of coat hooks. So as soon as you walk in, you can hang your jackets up right there. And that way they're kind of out of the way. Uh, actually, I guess one last thing I do want to talk about the door. You will see this one has a shade that is built into the door. So you can close that down so you don't uh, uh, 
um, you know, have the sunlight coming in or if you want some extra privacy at night. And you also have the slingshot, or the, sorry, the screenshot, they call it, but say it's a uh, on the screen door. So that way when you essentially unlatch the screen door, it will automatically close itself. So if you have kids or grandkids running in and out, you don't have to worry about the door being open and bugs making their way in. As you make your way into your bathroom, you will see it is a very large bathroom space. You kind of have the uh, farm style door here that you can close off. Right inside is a big linen closet, so you have plenty of room for all of your towels, washcloths, everything else you need. Mirrored medicine cabinet there up top. Kind of a, a two-tier um, vanity, which is nice. So you have the shelf up top with a cubby hole underneath, so some good extra storage, plus the sink top space itself and you have storage underneath. So kind of a, a nice big vanity there. I think they did a pretty good job. You also see your electrical outlet, tank monitoring panel here. Right underneath that is your water pump control plus water heater. It is worth noting that the water heater will run off both propane and electric, and you can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. Right over in the corner is the toilet. I'll take a seat here just to kind of give you an idea of size. So I'm six foot tall. I have plenty of leg room, plenty of shoulder space, and it's a porcelain bowl. That's a huge deal for me. If the plastic ones tend to get stained and you know they, they start to look pretty gross after a few years, porcelain is very easy to clean. That bowl will stay looking nice for a long time, just like you have in your current home. And then taking a step into the shower, another great feature here. Look folks, I'm six foot tall. I have plenty of room to the ceiling, even more with that skylight. You can probably be you know, 6'3", maybe even 6'4", and still stand underneath that skylight without having to duck down, which is wonderful hand wand there, plus a couple of shelves. You'll see that these are open right up top. Now they do that for airflow, so that way, you know, you can have the AC come through, or if you need, uh, you know, just to have regular airflow, you can actually turn on this max air fan, open up some of the windows in the main living area, you would be surprised at the amount of air that will actually get pulled through with that max air fan. It works very, very well. Right up front is the queen bed. You have the padded headboard right here in the back. You'll see you have uh, USB ports on one side, electrical outlets on the other. There is um, kind of like a little area back there where you can set cell phones. If you have a CPAP machine, you know, my, the, the CPAP machine these days are only about yay big or so. You can actually fit them back in that corner, which is pretty great. And then you will notice the hanging rod here in the wardrobe. So you have a place to hang your clothes, plus storage going across the top. The thing I like about this, they do have the glass on them, but the way they open up is they are strut supported, so for easy one hand operation there. As I mentioned, max air fan up top, windows on both sides, and if you want a TV, the connections for it are right there in the corner. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Sonic 231 VRK. Right up front is a power tongue jack. That makes it a lot easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle, because all you have to do is flip the rocker switch here to raise and lower the tongue. It also has a light for added visibility at night and a manual override in the rare events that the motor does fail. Right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks, rails here for your battery and a battery disconnect. That way you can kill all power to the RV when not in use. Coming up the front is diamond dutch plating, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Also, if you take a look at the Sonic, you can see that it is actually one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up and around and down the back. That is uh, pretty impressive. It has a couple of great features. Because of that, essentially the, le uh, the more seams, the more holes you have in the roof, the greater chance for water penetration. So by eliminating those seams going across, it helps reduce the chance of water getting in. Also, it does have a natural slope, if you can see, kind of running front and back. So that way the water naturally runs to the front and back of the RV, helping to keep your campsite a little bit cleaner. As we make our way around to the side, you will see the pass-through. It does have magnetic catches, uh, catches as well as slam latch, and it is completely finished off inside. So that way as you're putting items in and pulling them out, they're not getting caught on any studs. You will see the large power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have that go back in, and that also has an LED light strip on there. The underbelly is fully enclosed and insulated. Might be a little tough to see, but uh, that, that is fully enclosed there, so that way it'll help keep road grime out as well as hopefully some of the critters in the off season and keep the underbelly a little bit warmer in the colder temps. Fresh tank fill is right there, so if you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you wanna make sure to fill up the fresh water tank. Aluminum alloy wheels, the aluminum isn't gonna rust, that way those wheels will stay looking great for years to come. 
If you want an outside TV, you do have cable outlets and electrical outlet right there. If you'd rather just listen to music, you have a couple speakers that are mounted on the outside. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. To get into the 231, you have the Moride Step Above Step System. They're great, they're very solid. You know, you can see I'm over 200 pounds. I can kind of hop up and down here. The steps don't really flex, doesn't have like the springboard effect that your standard steps do. Plus they're aluminum treads, so they're not going to rust on you. And they have the grip tape for some of the added traction when it's wet like it is right now. And you also have the folded grab handle here, which makes it a little bit easier to get into the RV. Right here on the side is a bottle opener. Now they actually released this uh, last year, but they have improved it. Well, I really liked the one they had last year. The problem was is over time it would start to rust. Obviously that's a problem. They found out, so they have replaced it. So it's painted, then has the emblem right up front here. So that way that will stay looking nice for you for years to come. Right here in the back, square tubular bumper. It does come with end caps, even though they're not currently on there. You put the end caps on there and that gives you a great spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is the spare tire with the cover, which is not only decorative, but actually serves a purpose. It helps protect your tire from the elements and it's a very easy spot to get to it. So if you do need it, which hopefully you don't, but if you do, it is very easy to access and it'll be in good shape. This one is prepped for solar. It's actually right back here, which is a little odd. Most of the time it's up front, but it doesn't really matter. They pre-wire everything for you. So all you have to do is buy the portable panels with the charge controller, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge the battery. You also see your satellite and cable outlets here in the back. And right in the center is that backup camera prep. And because it's prepped, it makes the install much easier, meaning it'll save you money on labor. You can also see the roof line, how it's kind of coming down like that. As I mentioned, that is that one piece fiberglass roof. Coming around to the side, 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in right there, city water inlet right next door, and underneath that is the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Here on the off door side, you will see the black tank flush. That way you no longer have to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank. You just hook it up right here. You also have one of two terminations right underneath. This is your main termination with both your black and gray tank valves there. You have another termination right behind the rear axle. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Sonic 231 VRK. If you're interested in this beautiful rear kitchen model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.